box we're talking about. We're playing this music uh, to an extent where we want to try and make it as a living in a way because we, that's, that's our passion. Right? right. But we also see it in a, a sense of if people enjoy our shows, then that's what it's all about. So you are? I am Danny. <laughs> Rog. Jordan. <laughs> this is Ritual King. <laughs> you guys released uh, a new EP this year, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Three track EP uh, yeah. called Earthrise. Uh, How's that gone for you? It's gone well. Oh, it's gone well. We got signed for it. Mm -hmm. So you guys are, are definitely the touring man. You're on yeah. tour right now. Yeah, exactly, yeah. Yeah, 100%. Like, every week you're going somewhere. The reason we do it is we, we go in, we, we do it because we want to meet people. We want to play music, we want to write music. We don't do it to be big. We do it because we want to write music. We do it it's a cathartic experience. That's the only the, the reasons we do it. Not in any way to be big. We want to music To, uh, like, us as a band, the way everyone sees us is more... Uh, we're widely known for our live shows. I would call you guys one of the best hard blues bands out there right now. And I mean, hard blues. <laughs> I, 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 I wouldn't throw you in the, that pit of being like a stoner rock band. Yeah. I'd say that's hard that's, fucking blues. Yeah, really hard yeah. blues, but hard fucking blues. That's it. There's the odd slight stoner element in there that we think, kind of try to implement it. Well, we can but all we step over the line. Yeah, <laughs> yeah but, but we've, fall, we've fallen into that like, kind of... I think blues and stoner and everything all that combined. It does all Like work stoner, well, yeah. psychedelic, like, it's, it's all so merged. And it's yeah. like nowadays, like really adaptable to nowadays, the nowadays so, yeah. blues music nowadays is massively stoned. Yeah. Like if you, if you can see blues music nowadays, in terms of heavy music, yeah, blues music is stoned. That's how it's, it's pretty close. Yeah, and it's like. It's I think you guys like kind of take the so, the yeah. more traditional route in what yeah. you do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Much more like sort of deep purple, fucking. Yeah. Minus your yeah, yeah. Minus yeah, yeah, exactly. Like, like Jimi Hendrix. You, <laughs> you, you're not trying to be Caius, is my point, you know? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. But like, the, the thing so. is, though, like, the stuff, the stuff that we write, uh, there's a lot of different influences that kind of come about from all of that. So, um, I mean, one of the uh, bands that we have highly been looking at to try and support is Radio Moscow. Mm -hmm. so we see them as like... The oh, you missed that one recently, didn't you? But you yeah. got Colour Haze instead, so you can't... Oh, no, you it's Colour Haze, Haze. Yeah. 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 is it? Yeah. Man Blue up, so it's a big shout. Minus, minus the album. Minus Man Blue up. It's a great yeah. show. But like, yeah. you know, we got to see yeah. it. We got to see one of the most amazing... Yeah. Like, one of the most amazing gigs I've ever seen. Yeah. They were like... In terms of live shows, I'm thinking say that their the records don't represent them. There has been, has certainly been like kind of an explosion in this style of music. Yeah, yeah. massively. Nowadays, it seems yeah. Sony Rock is really good. Yeah. And like, Sony Rock is psychedelic rock to blues rock, it's still so entimed. It's, it's, yeah. it's, it's, you get all these bands coming, like, we're weird, weird bluesy bass, yeah. but it entwines them, and it's fucking great. So, uh, I. I know I've said this to you already, but I'm going to say it to you again. You're the only band that I invited back from last year based solely on your performance. Oh, thank you. Appreciate uh, it. So, yeah. yeah. Now, like, it was it was that good at Gizzard Fest, <laughs> and they were great bands playing, right? With that being said, though, last year, right, we were actually really quite impressed that we wanted to come back. Yeah. Because like, um, even though it's the first run of the show, everyone's always a bit, like, unsure how it's going to turn out. Of course. But it still works really well. The sound was on point. Every yeah, band played absolutely stellar six shows. Six and, years. Uh, yeah, the crowd there was buzzing as well. Like, it was a great first show of Gizzard Fest. In, in Rotherham, of all places. Yeah. Right? <laughs> in Rotherham, yeah. <laughs> different, different venue this time. I have. I've got the biggest venue in Rotherham. The biggest venue in Rotherham. They've got a... Uh, uh, this might excite you, but uh, the main stage PA, which I believe you guys are playing, yeah. Uh, which I'm happy to put you guys on the main stage is an 8k PA. Oh, nice! So awesome. it's a it's a it's a big sound setup. It was it really ran good. Like clockwork yeah. as well because you actually had. Uh, well, my brother's my brother James is doing stage managing yeah, for it all yeah. with uh, Bingham from Scythe helping him out. Right. So he's running the smaller stage kind of 
to help out on the smaller things, but it, like uh, getting people on stage and on time. Yeah. I think this year is going to be. Well. I think this year is going to be way bigger. Though. Well, we got like we got we got a two-hour run over, so. <laughs> serious <laughs> fans on the bill. Uh, I think you might need it after what's hell yeah. like. Yeah, they they they're new stuff. Well, it's uh, next. Yeah. Like, you know. I've never heard anything like that. Actually, that actually, that actually, actually leads me into no, the next question. Yeah. So, what's your top three bands that you want oh, to see nice. at Gizzard Fest? Uh, no, no, no. Well, I say uh, Boss Keloid is definitely uh, Wait, high is in there. Yeah. That are to be playing fair, Gizzard Fest. Uh, Sonata, Which one's? Yeah, Sonata. Sonata, you know what, right? It was you that actually introduced oh, me yeah. to him. And when I listened to him, I actually fell in love with him. So, uh, so like, yeah. So, I'm, Boss I, Keloid? Sonata. Sonata. Um, yes. <laughs> now you, you see, like. Oh, who's number three? Who's got you excited? It's really quite difficult because there's. Dad, have a look at this. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> well, who is this? Oh, I don't know. It's really quite Actually, difficult. Actually, saying that, yeah, 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 yeah. You know what? Chubby Thunderous. Chubby right? Thunderous, yeah. mate. Chubby, Chubby Thunderous, Thunderous, right? They have always had a soft spot for like, in my heart. Yeah. Oh, that's okay. Like, you can fuck off, mate. Yeah, yeah, you, you were the one that was so putting over. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I do love them. And what's I'm your. Top uh, three. <laughs> can we go for this like a group answer? Like, Dan yeah. No, no. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, so, no we do the same, same thing. Soda. Oh, oh Soda. I see. Yeah. Yeah. Fucking played with those guys for ages. Yeah. 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 Love those dudes. Shall be fun for us again. See those yeah. guys times, man. They're fucking sweet. That's gonna have to be fucking Boss Keloid. Boss Keloid. Oh man. Yeah. Okay. Me. It's Boss Keloid. Spastic monkey. Oh, that's nice of you to say. It's probably thunderous. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Good, good fucking lineup. Gear rundown. Gear rundown. Yeah. What do you use? So, uh, all right. So, as a bass player, uh, I've just got a small lunchbox in my head, which is too electronic. It's got plenty of power behind it. Most of my stuff is on my pedal board, so I've got plenty of distortion. An octave to think yeah. out to his solos, a wah, yeah. and then wireless. That, yeah. that kind of sums up the majority of my kind of sound. That, that explains why you're so mobile. Yeah. 24 inch kick by 14. 20. Yeah. Big kick, please! <laughs> you got to get the foundation there, man. That's yeah. where you yeah. So you guys can bring whatever you want, you don't have to share yeah. it. This year it's like, bring your own gear if you want to. Oh, Bye, yeah. so. oh, that's sweet. What 30 by 9 black top. It's basically just one inch below modern sizes yeah. of drum shots. What about cymbals? What's... Cymbals. Nice. Got a 22 inch fucking pasty big beat, which I bought yeah. with actually. You're a pasty guy, yeah? And, what about uh, snare? Snare, I've got a fucking Hammond Brass Black Panther. It's a man that for, I've had this fucking snare for the last 11 years, something like that. Yeah, I'm sure it's a strong. Go and get your robust gear. That's, 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 that's your workhorse, right? That's your good chair. <laughs> Kick drum with your snare and your fucking cymbal, that's what you want. What about you, John? Uh, I play we know you're a bit of a gearhead. Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Dan sets it all up for me, man. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a, a play TH100 orange. And then I have the 4x12, and guitar wise, um, I use. The first guitar is an Epiphone, but I've upgraded yeah. pickups. Yeah, the first Rocker Pros, cool. and then it's been set up in a way, but actually, funnily enough, I had it, I've got a studio Gibson as a backup, and yeah. I switched the pickups from that into my into my Epiphone. And I switched comfort, right? the, Epi the Epiphone had first Rocker Pros, which are the yeah. highest end Gibsons, and I put them in my, my studio, yeah. and it doesn't sound as good as the Epiphone. Yeah. And I, I don't know why, it defeats the laws of physics. <laughs> This feats a lot of physics, my Epiphone still sounds better. Right? And this Epiphone is like, it's, it's like my, it's my fucking, it's my it's dream, it's my baby. It's, no, it's I love it. two parts feel, <laughs> right? I love it. Man. It's like a good woman. It's two parts feel, <laughs> ten parts. one part skier. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly, yeah. Right? It's that simple, man. If it sounds good in an Epiphone, no, it's, that's why you feel weird. fine. It's weird, <laughs> it sounds fat as fuck, and it's bigger than the uh, studio. So I've got my studio Gibson as a backup, yeah. and I have my Epiphone with these uh, studio pickups yeah. in the Epiphone, and I've had it set up so right. Yeah, it's man. It works for me, man. And that's, that's it, I think, with my orange back, back line. And, and I, I, don't have, think, like, I don't think there's anything wrong with that's it. That's fine, and it works, man. It works, except for... I had a nightmare, so last couple of days, last couple of days, my fucking amp blew, 
and then my guitar fucking pick up switch fell into, into my guitar whilst I was playing all happened during the set by the way <laughs> playing in front of Colour Haze fucking Colour Haze my amp blows in front of fucking Colour Haze like, this is one of those shows you're like fucking Colour Haze man fucking Colour Haze I'm so ready for this I'm so ready my fucking amp blows amp blows fucking Colour Haze yeah so it's fucking shit man. okay yeah, okay yeah. any final words guys yeah. I mean, uh, it doesn't help that we've kind of been on tour and we're still recovering and trying to... Yeah. It's exactly why I'm together. doing this interview yeah, well, at this time. Like, no, no, I'm not that's for anything. That's chatting shit. No, it's only you that's still yeah. wasted. Yeah. 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 But, like, yeah, with that being said, though, we're really looking forward to this next uh, Gizzard Fest. Like, the lineup is Sick. absolutely stellar. Gizzard Fest. On it. Gizzard Fest. Gizzard. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you might have understood it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, like, uh, we're... This kind of spelled that way. <laughs> <laughs> we're just gonna, like, uh... I, I, like... I can say it that way the first time. Yeah. <laughs> oh, she's <laughs> our fest! <laughs> right on! <laughs> but yeah, we're gonna play it, like, uh, as uh, most of our shows, just try and make sure that, like, uh, everything's... Are you like bringing anything point. special? Have you got yeah, anything Well, by planned? that point, uh, we look... You're gonna bring something new? We're finishing our uh, album, the one. The album we done. The album yeah. we done. So there's going to so be quite a lot of new material, material. material. with that, actually, yeah. Oh, no. Okay. So yeah. you guys are bringing some new material to Gizzard Fest, hopefully. Yeah. Yes. yes. Straight up, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, good luck with your talk. Thank Take you very care, much. Man. Cheers.